Uh, before we get started, I'd like to just talk about my first day offshore. My background prior to coming into the oil and gas industry, I spent 10 years in the U.S. Navy working on nuclear submarines with uh, torpedoes, cruise missiles, and the weapons delivery systems. Um, the, the challenge for me was once I got out of the Navy or once I started in the Navy, the military is heavily training based. So you start off, I was 17, mom and dad had a sign for me to actually join the military. I uh, went through my basic training and the next thing you know I was on a nuclear submarine uh, working with, with high spec equipment. The beauty of the, the military model is the, the stronger your team was, the stronger you were as a supervisor and as a leader. Um, so we spent a lot of time on training and mentoring every day. Um, every day there were different scenarios, every day there was different manuals that we were reading. Every day they wanted us to be subject matter experts on our own systems. The reason for that was at a moment's notice when that alarm went off or that call for action went off, you didn't have time to look to one another to try to figure out what was going to take place. You had to know what to do at that moment's notice. The major part of our submarine budget is going to be spent on you guys. Submarine crews, schooling, extensive training, damage control training. They're going to pump some big bucks into you guys, but it's going to pay off. One day out there in the ocean, one remote instance where a casualty goes down with the training you've got, you might just be the guy that's going to be there when it starts. And with your training, you'll be able to jump right on that casualty. You'll be able to save your life and save your ship. All right, what you're looking at here is a damage control wet trainer. One thing I want you to notice, it's a small confined area. I'm going to put you down here at the start of the casualty and we're going to turn on water flooding to simulate flooding on a submarine. All right, do a good job. Take your time. Safety is priority one. Make it happen. ready to go? Yep. Okay, what I'd like to start them out with is uh, port and starboard lube oil. Let them get the initial report and sound the collision alarm off, and then we'll hit them with the ASW suction. Floating in the engine room. Floating in the engine room. There we go. Submariner has only got one enemy, and that is the sea itself, pressing in inexorably at something like a quarter of a ton on every square inch of his hull or thereabouts. That is the implacable enemy. Ten years goes by, get an opportunity to go offshore and start working in a subsea training program. Um, my very first day, I arrive on the rig, go through my indoctrination training, and I get brought out to the, to the subsea office to meet my senior subsea for the first time. We sit down, we kind of go over the, you know, the normal chit chat, welcome aboard, welcome to the company, tell me a little bit about yourself. And then he, he starts to tell me how he works as a supervisor. And it was a real eye-opening experience for me. It starts off like this. I want to let you know that I'm not a trainer, so don't expect to get trained. I have a huge temper and a short fuse, so don't make me mad. What I want you to do is go out and meet the other guys and uh, we'll catch up later. And I thought to myself, what in the world did I just get myself into? Coming from a world where you spend a lot of time training and mentoring and building up your staff, my very first day was, I'm not a teacher, don't make me mad, go out and meet the other guys and we'll catch up later. <laughs> 